We have a charge controller from Power Queen. Let's open it up. We got manuals. They make sure you have manuals. A uh, manual for a Bluetooth adapter and then a manual for the charge controller itself. Got a temperature sensor, uh, mounting hardware, and there's the Bluetooth dongle. And here we have the charge controller. It has a soft, kind of a soft touch gray, and then a nice white powder coated heat sink on the back. Very attractive. We got PV input, we got the battery, and we got a load connection. We got the RS-232 port, which is also where uh, the Bluetooth adapter plugs in and a temperature port. So this is a 30 amp charge controller. It will do 400 watts at 12 volts and it'll do 800 watts at 24 volts. The maximum solar VOC, the voltage open circuit, is 100. The load power here is 240 watts at 12 volts and 480 at 24 volts. What is it like, 20 amps? They could have just said that. Oh, okay, so they give you two manuals because it looks like one's in German and the other's in English. So this one ha comes with a warning. It says never connect the solar panel array to the controller without a battery. Battery must be connected first. We'll definitely honor that. Some of them you can connect the solar first and it's fine, uh, but this one says do not. Oh yeah, so the load output is 20 amps. So this model does only 12 and 24 volts, so it does not do 36 or 48. Well, let's hook it up. Okay, so we have it hooked up to our Cow Cow battery here, and it is booted up. Uh, let's go ahead and plug in some solar. Okay, it appears to be charging. Let's uh, scroll through here and see. Okay, we've got 68. 0.8 volts on the solar, uh, doing 30 amps <laughs> right off the bat. It's very nice. I like to see that. So let's check and make sure that we really are doing 30 amps. Uh, my meter says 27.9. Let's pull up the BMS app on the battery and see what it says. Yeah, okay, so our BMS app says 28 amps as well. So um, we're about 2 amps shy of what the screen is saying there. All right, so let's uh, see what the input current is, and then we'll do our efficiency calculation. So we got 5.6 going in at 68.8 volts. So that gives us 385.28 uh, watts going in. And our BMS is showing 365. So let's do that math. Looking good. So 365 is going to the battery. 385 is coming in from the solar. That gives us a 94.8% efficiency. So the efficiency is real nice on this guy at almost 95%. The only thing that I'm not real thrilled about at this moment is, you know, it's basically saying, 30 amps here on this screen, but uh, we aren't doing 30 amps. We're doing 26 right now. Let's check again with the clamp meter. Yeah, it's showing 25.5 while well, it's clearly still showing almost 30 here. So I'm not sure what that's about. <laughs> All right, so let's plug in the Bluetooth adapter. It says to look for search solar app in the app store. So there's a solar app here. I'll try that. Okay, I guess it found something here. Yep, okay. So this is it. So it's saying 425 watts, but it says solar panel. What, uh, my battery is only getting 343. Yeah, and here in the battery, it says the battery current is 29.9, but here we're showing 56.6. .6. 
Yeah, and so on the app, you can set all the settings, the voltage, uh, set the 12 volt. I never use auto. I, I don't recommend you use auto. If your charge controller comes auto default, go in there and change it. To me, that's dangerous. Uh, battery type, set for lithium. Yeah, it seems to be fine. Yeah, so at this moment, the only thing I can say negative is that this is not actually what's going in the battery. It's saying 29.9, but it's not 29.9. It seems like it's actually gradually going down. Because we're at 25.4 right now. Well, let's open it up. So we've got a fairly clean PCB that has a conformal coating, so which is a fancy word for a thick clear coat. <laughs> Helps to protect the components from moisture and whatnot. We have some inductors potted over here and then mounted to the heat sink. It says SRML2440N10. That's the only identify marks I can tell. Yeah, there it is. That's all there is to it. All right, guys. So I think that's going to be the end of the video. The current display and what we actually measured going into the battery being different is very weird. I don't know what that is. If you guys have any <laughs> ideas of what's going on there, uh, just definitely weird. You know, we saw it stay locked on at 30 amps or 29.99 amps basically the whole time and initially it showed on our clamp meter and the the battery BMS it showed around 28 amps so we were just like about two amps off but then as time progressed on it went to 27 26 and then 25 by the time I finally turned this thing off we were only doing just a bit over 25 amps on the battery when it still said 29.99 on the display so i don't know anyways uh leave your comments like subscribe that really helps the channel as always and i'll catch you next time